Hi everyone, I'm Chris. In this video I'm going to take a look at uh, an airsoft gun that you don't often actually see used you don't, or talked about, you don't see them out much on uh, on the skirmish field. That's, uh, that's one of these. Nice, simple, cheap spring action shotgun. Tri shot. Now, what sort of person is going to want to buy one of these? Well, I think the great thing about these guns is that number one you can pick them up cheaply and what that makes them good for is a new player who's probably gone from AEG as their first gun which makes sense because then you can use that in the woodlands, you can use it in CQB and you're covered. Um, just a nice simple electric gun. Spent a couple hundred quid. But then you know you, you maybe want a backup or you want something a bit different for CQB but you don't want to spend a massive amount of cash. I think that's where these come, one of these fits in quite nicely. Now the Tokyo Marui original, which this is a clone of, they cost a little bit. You're probably looking at over £100 for one of those. You can pick these up for probably less than half the price of that at various, uh, various stores in Hong Kong and there's probably a few in the UK. They come with various models. Um, you've got the adjustable stock like this one. You can have no stock at all or there's a full solid fixed stock. There's a couple of different barrel lengths as well. This is the, the longer version. You can also get one that's cut down to about there. But they all work on the same very basic principle. The actual mechanism inside the body here is very simplistic, and that's what makes them reliable. The ammunition, that is actually a magazine. It looks like a shell. You put about 30 rounds into that. All you do is open this little trap door on the base here, feed in the shell, and then every time you pump that tension is the spring, there's a few nozzles on the inside um, it's kind of like in you know, in terms of the cylinder and the piston and stuff, it's not dissimilar to the insides of an AEG in terms of how they work it's just that instead of having a motor and a battery to, to wind a load of gears to pull that piston back and compress the spring to create that air pressure which fires the BBs you're doing that yourself with your arm muscles so that off. It really is that easy. Um, all, all you're doing every time you compress that spring, it locks the piston back into the rear on the trigger sear. And then when you fire it off, you get three BBs going down range because you've got three inner barrels running down this one cent, uh, main outer barrel. Like I say, they are an extremely reliable system and they, they weigh absolutely nothing, these things. I mean, the, the, the barrel here and the magazine tube, that's all metal. Uh, stock tube is metal. But most of the body is just plastic. They're not the most resilient guns. There's a bit of wobble between the, the main body and the barrel itself. And if you use it a lot, eventually it will break. Same as any cheap Chinese-made stuff. That's just a way of life. But like I say... It just weigh absolutely nothing and that makes it a really handy little skirmish gun. The disadvantage you have to deal with, and the problem I found with them, is that when you fire a shotgun, a lot of people are used to video games and you think a shotgun, as soon as the, the shot leaves the barrel, it's massive spread and it's just not the way it is. On the real thing, I can't remember the exact rule of thumb, but when you're dealing with double or buckshot on a real 12 ball shotgun, it's something like an inch spread every couple of yards, or every yard, something along those lines. So, you know, if you're engaging someone five meters away, you've probably only got about that much spread on the real thing, or less. And on these, it seems to spread even less. You're only firing three BBs, whereas real buckshot, you've got a lot more actual ball bearings flying out the barrel, and they just don't spread out that much. So, at close range, which is where you think a shotgun would excel, you might as well have just fired one shot because you're only getting about that much spread. So it's not. It's not really giving you that flexibility to miss slightly and the spread will enable you to hit your target. The opinions on this vary, um, but that, that's just what I've found. What, what they are good for is it's just fun, it's just something a bit different. That, like I say, you do have that problem where instead of where you're on an AEG and you just fire, 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 you know, it's pretty much as quick as you can move your trigger finger. On this, you're having to cough it. And you can do that fairly quickly with a bit of practice, but 
it's still never going to be as rapid as an electric gun or say a, a gas blowback submachine gun or a gas pistol even. It can be quite intimidating sometimes for the enemy when they when they hear footsteps around the corner and you know, all of a sudden they hear you know it's um, it does sound a little plasticky I admit but there's something about that pump on a shotgun um, that you know when you play airsoft it can it, 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 it's not a, it's not a bad thing, at least put it that way. But to demonstrate what I'm talking about when in terms of the, the type and pattern of the spread, now it's probably vary between the guns, but this, this particular gun, it really does keep the, the spread of the BBs really close. So I'm gonna set up just a paper target a few meters down and put a shot into it, and I'll show you what I mean. So I've paced out about 10 meters and set up my little target box with a paper target. I'm about to load the gun obviously, so safety first, as always. Got an empty shell in there at the moment, so we'll pop that out. And uh, grab one of my uh, shells I've loaded up here. So looking at the target, what you'll notice is there's four holes and everything. Well, that's a bit weird. It's a tri shot shotgun. Fires three BBs. Well, what we're going to do is discount this hit just here because that was actually one I fired with a pistol earlier. Um, the three we're interested in is this group here. Now I'm going to have a ruler. I'd say that's about it's about two inches, two and a half inches, basically at ten meters. Now for an actual person you know you, you certainly you know maybe if you're uh, if you just swing around and quickly aim at someone if you're slightly off at I don't know 15 meters maybe it might spread out just enough that even though technically you would have missed with a with a single shotgun or an AEG you might hit with this shotgun however at 10 meters that's a really tight grouping for uh, you know such a, a cheap gun that's actually you know people call it a scatter gun well there's not much scattering going on so that's just something to bear in mind but obviously you what you will guarantee is that people do feel their hits um, so that's always handy but it you know it is a fun weapon to use in airsoft just got to you need to realize its limitations um, and, and bear that in mind and not expect that you're going to blast out this massive spread wide pattern of of shot of bbs going all over the place as some people think uh, you know seem to think will happen but anyway um cheers for watching the video guys hope uh, hope you find it useful i'll see you next time